not uh, not probation. He, he actually suspended me. I am no longer an APA member. Basically, guys, he put me in APA jail. So now I'm going to try to get out. Keep watching. We're going to get into the, the basics of the story here. Don't forget to hit the like and comment. Let's get into this. Hey, what's up, everybody? Josh Powell here at Amateur Pool. I'm here at Soaring Eagle Casino. I uh, just wanted to tell you guys a quick little synopsis of what happened. I came up here for an APA pool tournament. It was put on by four division league operators in the southeast Michigan area. I came up here to get, to get some good content for you guys and play a fun tournament. And the tournament was ran well. There was a ton of good matches I played in that tournament, man, that none of us will ever get to see. You know, one of them, including a guy who was a 720 Fargo. The guy plays at almost a professional level. Um, Super nice guy, Brandon Ashcraft, but I got to play him as well. Um, and it was a great match, but no one will ever see it, you know. I confirmed with my league operator before I signed up for this event that I would be able to record here because there's one in particular league operator where I used to play in Metro Detroit who has a personal vendetta against me, and I had a feeling he was going to make, make sure I wasn't able to record. In fact, guys, that's the whole reason I currently play in the thumb area. You know, this uh, Dave Fritz has a has a problem with me for some reason or another. So as a, as a business decision, I decided uh, as a consumer, I had the option to not give him any more of my business. So that's what we did. We moved our team up to another area. We currently drive one hour each way. So two hour round trip twice a week uh, just to play in the APA still. I confirmed prior to registration with my league operator uh, that I would be able to record here. He said, no problem. So I signed up, paid the entry fee. My wife and I came up, got a hotel room, uh, 400 bucks for the hotel room. Go to play the first match and set up the camera, and all of a sudden we get an announcement. Hey, there's going to be no recording and no live streaming. So I put my camera away, and I, I played my tournament. After the tournament, I went to my league operator and said, hey, what's, what's going on, man? He said, dude, I, it's, an, it's beyond my control. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. So I knew where it came from. It came from the league operator in Metro Detroit. His name is Dave Fritz. So I, I took my camera up to Dave and asked him, I said, Dave, why, uh, why wasn't I able to record here? And this is what happened. Here's the interaction, guys. Check it out. Dave, good tournament you put on here, man. Good tournament, Thank dude. You, sir. Appreciate it. Just wondering why we couldn't promote it through video recording. Do you know why? Never got an answer. Don't know why? You just didn't want to promote it. It's more things. It's more things than that, Josh. Well, that's what I'm asking. Like what? You're not supposed to be recording in the casino. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! It's not true. I've been recording on the floor all day. Not supposed to be. Well, that statement's crazy because there's other events that happen there every year where you can record. So it's not definitely not a casino policy. Did it right in front of security. But that's so case you guys told. shouldn't be able to take your pictures in here either. Right? If it was a casino policy. So that's what I was wondering. Full of shit. So after that was all done and over with, here's the fun part. Okay. I get a I get a phone call from my league operator saying, hey man, you were somehow in the system still listed under Dave Fritz's league. Uh, and Dave suspended you. Not uh, not probation. He, he actually suspended me. I am no longer an APA member. I can no longer play in APA events. I can no longer play APA league. Um, but my league operator said that shouldn't shouldn't be allowed to happen um, because I don't actually play under Dave Fritz's league any longer. Uh, so he's working with uh, APA corporate to try to get this resolved. Uh, I will file appeal through APA corporate as well. But um, I wanted to get this out and show you guys what's up because Dave Fritz from the Metro Detroit APA is overstepping his bounds and um, abusing what little bit of power that guy has. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you uh, if you move to Michigan, you know there's other APA areas right around there. Till next time, guys. I appreciate all the support. Take care and we'll catch you later. Peace.